This week I'm in the stunning seaside resort of Tenby in southwest Wales. Welcome to Songs of Praise. Now for a remarkable success story from Wales, which is both moving and inspiring. Josie Darby has been meeting an all-girl choir from South Wales called Angelicus, who are all still at school. But the story of the formation of the choir has a personal tragedy at its heart. It doesn't get much bigger than primetime Saturday night TV, and that's where the girls of Angelicus Celtis found themselves earlier this summer when they reached the semi-final of Britain's Got Talent. Away from the bright lights of TV, the girls are being put through their paces by founder John Howell Williams, who formed the choir in West Wales with the help of his wife Jean and their son Jeremy. We don't normally enter competitions, but we thought this would be a wonderful experience for the choristers, and it was, mm -hmm. um, in mixing with celebrities, doing lots of broadcasts and travelling, and the choristers came away from it that much wiser and fuller. What kinds of things have you done as a choir? We've performed at Royal Albert Hall and in Covent Gardens, it is an amazing experience when singing with a choir in different venues like that. All the Angelicus girls are also members of John Howell's long-established Howell Girls Choir and Boys Singers, formed by John and Jean over 50 years ago. My father would lead the choristers, particularly in the tuition and stage performance, but Mum then also played a very strong pastoral role in the caring and giving nurturing and support. What do you enjoy about singing with Angelicus? It's more than just singing. We share the same interests and we care for each other and we just we become a family. Where does this love of music come from for you? I started when I was a child. Um, I had polio and meningitis and recovered, fortunately, a few that had recovered, but I couldn't take an interest in sport. But I had an old record player and old records, and I enjoyed playing and listening to them. Mm -hmm. But it encouraged me at that time uh, to go in for the arts. But the rapid success of Angelicus has grown out of a very real personal tragedy for the Williams family which happened in May 2015, before the choir's first performance. We both got in the car, and then the accident happened. I was taken to hospital seriously ill, and Jean was killed. I could make sense at all, but I am a, a Christian, and my belief was a tremendous help to me, and then to give me hope as a time went on, so I'm very fortunate. And then we had so many, the choristers, all of them, and their parents and hundreds of people were so supportive to myself and to Jeremy. So, but the religion was a very, very important part. She was more than a pianist. Her soft ways and her, um, her smile, um, very caring as well. She was an amazing lady. Everything we do with the choristers is basically an extension of what Mum stood for. So every note they sing, I personally dedicate to Mum. And I know that she's here and very proud of every chorister and what they're doing. Jean wouldn't have wished that any choir of mine would stop because she passed away. She was so enthusiastic about the choirs and she'd have been thrilled with Angelicos, I know that. It's very sad that she didn't get to see us but we know that um, she's looking over us and um, we're singing for her. Whenever we're singing, we always think of Jean and we always do our best to make her proud. At the funeral service, the Angelicus girls were an integral part of saying farewell to Jean Howell, 
singing Be Still My Soul, an emotional hymn they're going to perform for us again today. The words are very, very meaningful, far more meaningful after the tragedy, as if they're telling you something. And they're very beautiful, quite hurtful, and yet they give you a tremendous amount of faith in your religion. So I'm very fond of it. <laughs> 